פרק בייז, על אור יוד נכנס מגילה. If they were oasis, how you have oasis mitutoshoi, mitushtoshoi, that were not correct. Oi mikuroi, so they were torn. Yemin shumanika, if you can recognize the letters. Avilo yeruba kshero, even if they're the majority of the megillah, it's kosher. We'll go down to the bottom. Yem ainu shumanika, if you can't see that there was any letters there. Yem ayeruba sholim, but the majority is clear, it is there. Shera. Only some of the letters missing uh, causes it to be possible. In lab sula, but if the majority is not readable, readable, it's possible. And the person who reads it, it is not yotza. Now, hishmid bo asayif oishis. If the if the soif didn't have letters in it, oipsukim. We call on akher as a megillah per, and the person who read it read it out. Uh, orally without the letters of the psukim, yotze, yotze. The Magen Mishnah cites Megillah 18b. Tana Rabbonu. Hishmet be a seifer oisius, if the if the oisius seifer left out letters, or psukim, and the kaira, the reader wrote it, and said it like kimetulgum and amitagim, because they used to have, when they were reading the seifer Torah, there would be somebody translating what was read, balpeh, and he read it, Balpez Yotza. Gemara asks a question from a Brisa that if there's letters that are not uh, that don't look correct or they're torn, if you can tell they were there, it's kosher. Not if it's possible. Gemara answers that yeah, we're talking about if the entire or the majority of the, of the Megillah was that way. But if, if it's only a minority, even if you read part of it, Balpez Yotza. Like what Maimonides cites that. From here, the Chacham Paskin, Chaseros Yaseros Ein Lochosh Megillah. That this means that if you have extra letters or fewer fewer letters, it does not cause the Megillah to be possible. Whereas a Sefer Torah would be possible. The Magen Mishnah also cites the sources, the Brice in eighteen, the in Megillah eighteen B, and he adds, from here we learn. That if you read it orally, you're not yotze. That that's only said if you some of the psukim is it is not it, it does not apply when it's only some of the psukim. And the eater and the eater writes that this is the mikor to the minik. Therefore, the tzibur is permitted to read a pair. <coughs> With the covering some of the psukim, which is what we say out loud, like Ish, Ish, Yudi, Hoya, and the, the children of uh, Homan, etc. Shematzibu le Shamu Oisius, if the Tzibu didn't hear certain letters of psukim, they can do it by themselves reading, even though they're not reading from a Megillah, because part of the Megillah, as long as it's a minority portion, can be read out loud. So if you come, if you hear the Brophis, or if you have to step out for a moment and you come back, you're, you you can catch up and you don't have to wait for the next reading because the minority of the Megillah can be read by from your Chumash, even if you don't have a Megillah.